What's up, YouTube? Today we are talking about Hall of Fame handles for days. Now, this one is a little bit more, you know, I did hot start my last video. This one's going to be a little bit more common. Most people, you know, they're going to see this video and they're going to be like, yeah, of course, you want handles for days on Hall of Fame, no doubt about it. You want to have as much energy as possible, handles for days saves energy, yada, yada. So you see, we're on my slashing floor and C-Red is on his paint defender, which is a pure stretch. So we got a pretty tall lineup out here. Uh, we're playing against a pass first wing and an offensive the threat he's an elite shout out to him but handles for days so in the beginning of the year in nba 2k20 people you know they said they couldn't dribble without being tired their build needs more stamina why am i losing so much energy and that is because no one had any handles for days no one knew how important of a badge that was going to be and uh yeah no one could really dribble without their player having an asthma attack and falling on the floor so now to the point where we are, you know, stamina is pretty plentiful. If you, you know, if you have handles for Days Hall of Fame and you don't have any Gatorade, you're going to be pretty okay unless you really like spam on the dribble moves. If you have the double Gatorade bar and you have handles for Days Hall of Fame, you're basically never going to run out of energy. Now I guess the question is, should you always have it on Hall of Fame for every situation? Now if you're a lead ball handler and you have, you know, 20 plus playmaking badges, I would say go ahead and have that thing on Hall of Fame because there's not really going to be, uh, there's not too many other good playmaking badges that you're going to want to have over handles for days. Now a situation I will say, there's some players that they, they give themselves less playmaking so they can be more well-rounded in defense, finishing and shooting. Say like I have a build that only has uh, 11 playmaking badges, my ball hawk, you know my post playmaker doesn't have the most. Can you get by with not having handles for days hall of fame? And after testing this out, of course I had handles for days hall of fame, I knew that, but I actually tried builds with less just to see so I give you guys the full opinion. You definitely do not need handles for days on Hall of Fame. You can use that thing on silver. Uh, I wouldn't do bronze, actually. No handles for days in bronze. That's a no-go if you're the one ball handler. But you can get by with silver or gold. Now, especially it comes with your dribble moves, too. If you're using just simple moves to get open, more being like an ISO god rather than a dribble god, and then you can make handles for days work. A lot of moves only take a little bit of stamina, you know, sizing up, doing hesitations. If you do a size up hesitation and look for the cut or look for the pass, you're still going to have plenty of energy left. Now, if you like using triple moves where they kind of more spammy, a lot of people, you know, with the Allen Iverson size up, sometimes even with the Steph Curry, they spam that so much that they're completely blinking, it's not going to work. You see right there, did a little bit of a between the legs, did a little bit of a step back, got a green. Of course, I'm using Hall of Fame in this video, this gameplay right here. But, you know, like I said, you see, even on Hall of Fame, my energy is basically not going down at all. It's going to move the same uh, pretty much even with gold and silver. So as long as you're not spamming the dribble moves, you're good to use it on gold and silver. But like I said, if you have the playmaking badges, if you have at least like 15 to 20, then go ahead and throw that on. The only playmaking badge I would say is that's super important to have on Hall of Fame is quick first step. You know, like unpluckable people say you need that on Hall of Fame. You don't. It works, you know, pretty much the same. I don't want to give that video away, but there's not a lot of other playmaking badges that you need to have. And quick first step is one of them. Handles for day, I say, is the other. If you're playing in a situation where you're dribbling a lot. Of course, a lot of people just play in the park with fun with randoms where there's like three point guards on the uh, court. Or maybe you're playing with your friend and you both like to dribble. That's another situation where, you know, maybe you can uh, take it off too and you could put floor general on or maybe dot up your needle thread or something like that because you know you're not going to be dribbling full time. Definitely, if you're not going to be the main ball handler, you don't really need handles for days at all. Like if you're if you're playing spot up with, uh, say, a playmaking shot creator and you want to take handles for days off completely and just put on floor general to give your teammates a boost, definitely able to do that. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, pretty pretty simple video, pretty simple results. If you like to dribble, if you like to spam, you need the Handles for Days Hall of Fame. If you are a simpler dribbler, you don't. Let me go ahead and compliment and commentary the rest of this gameplay. You see here, 4 to 16. And it does make it, it makes a difference too with the kind of build you are. You know, like a pure playmaker, a slashing playmaker with, uh, you know, close to 20 to 30 playmaking badges. Of course, you're going to want to have handles for days. It makes sense for your build to have the ability to dribble a long time, you know, slash to the basket, make plays for your teammates. If you're something, uh, you know, maybe you're like a BP build where you have like 15 shooting badges, you know, you can only go to gold anyway on that. But if you want to use silver, if you like to use space creator, if you, do, if you like to play more like a shot creator, definitely take that down a little bit. Don't worry about it too much. But, yeah, I mean, like I said, some people, they're going to definitely, if they try to take it off Hall of Fame and they're used to dribbling like crazy, they're definitely going to feel it. It's going to mess them up. You see, take those guys off the court. Uh, I had 12 points here. I had 9, 5 for 5. He was 3 for 5. Pretty flawless game. 
And uh, and one more uh, 1v1 gameplay for you guys too. In a situation like the 1v1 court, this is a little bit different. I would say on twos, on threes, on fives, you know, you're not always having to play the most intense defense. Sometimes you can be hit on defense and save energy. That's especially true in stage. You'll see a lot of the time the point guard will just guard corner. The lock will guard the main ball handler, and they'll be able to save their energy. Somewhere like the 1v1 court, you're not really going to get a chance to save energy, especially if you're playing against post players. They're backing you down. you got to use a lot of energy just to get stops. So I would say you definitely are going to want to have Hintless for Days Hall of Fame on the 1v1 court, no matter the situation. You see here, this dude just leaving me open, just throwing it up. But you see, like, my energy is just not, it's not going down at all. The only time it's really going to go down is on defense. And that's just because I'm using simple dribble moves to, uh, you know, basically just make my shot and shoot real quick. I'm not, you know, spinning to the baskets, going back when I have a wide open shot. It's all about looking for your shot. That's what handles for days helps. It helps people that over dribble, people that like to dribble for flashiness. Uh, with no handles for days, it definitely makes it tough in that situation. You see here, getting my board, hitting them with a little Kobe size up. And the, the best dribble moves, I would say, if you are trying to save badge points and you don't want to use handles for days Hall of Fame, uh, you know, Kobe sizes up, of course, is nice. If you guys have never tried Damian Lillard, you can get a lot of simple moves off that. You know, Curry, it can be if you're not spamming the left or right. And, uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. Stuff like Kyrie, Allen Iverson, Zach Levine, anything with a fast momentum, you're going to want to, like, just do quick uh, quick momentums. The slow momentum actually helps save energy, believe it or not. You see, he, he's still leaving me, man. I don't know what this guy was thinking. He was just going to live with me shooting on a two-way temple pusher he thinks cannot shoot. Going to go ahead and try to get a contact to get him out of here. And that's it for the story, man. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the video, man. This is Tonic. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out.